Hey guys, welcome to the 24th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own exceptions and how to throw them. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and some sort of method that passes a string through it. So we're going to check to see if this string is an empty string or not. So we can say if my string equals an empty string. And we want to throw an exception instead of just displaying a message box saying something. So in order to do that, there are two things you can do. The first is you create a new exception right on the spot and you throw it. Or you could create an exception that you can use multiple times or throw multiple times. So for, we're just going to go with the first one for right now. We're going to create a new exception and throw it right on the spot. So we're just going to do throw to throw the exception. And then we're going to want to type new and then exception. And what this will do is it will throw this new exception. And inside of these parentheses right here, we're going to want to put um, the description of our exception. So I'm just going to make the description be, you can set this string equal to an MD string. And you're probably going to want to make your uh, exception description a little bit more professional than that just so it sounds better but you get the idea for right now so now we're gonna go back to our button click and we're gonna try to have it pass an empty string through this check string method and we should get an error because we told it to throw an error or throw an exception so when we click this button now it'll throw an exception and our application will crash yep and it gave us the description that we wrote out. Another thing that you can do is you can create an exception and throw it multiple times. So, for example, like if you if there was like a, an instance where you would need to throw the same exception twice, if like descriptions would, would be the same, like if you had two um, spots inside your class where um, having a description for your exception, the you can't set the string equal to an empty string makes sense for what you're doing, then you might as well create an exception that you can throw multiple times instead of throwing two new exceptions with the same description. So you can just do exception and then you can name your exception. I'm just going to call it my exception, but you're probably going to want to name it something that um, is more relevant to what to uh, what your exception actually is. And then you're going to set it equal to a new exception, just like before, and um, put a description inside of there. I'm just going to copy this description because it's fine for what we're doing right now. And then of saying throw new exception, we can just say throw oh, my exception, but we got to make this static because we're using, uh, because this is a static method right here and all the members that we're using inside of uh, our uh, static method must be static as well. So now we can throw my exception. Alright, so this should do the exact same thing as before. Yep. Now, you may think to yourself, well, this is stupid. Why, why would you ever want to throw an exception? Why would you ever want your application to crash? Well, usually you don't want it to crash. Usually you have, like, whoever's using your class. Like, you usually use this inside of, like, a class that you're creating. And then, like, whoever's using your class could put a try and catch around this. And instead of having to have their own message box be displayed when they catch the exception, they could just have it display the, um, the exception message. So we'll just have a message box show the, um, ma or, uh, the exception ma message. So let's do ex.message. And what this is right here is this is the exception that was thrown. So we just display the message of the exception that was thrown. And instead of our application crashing this time, we should get a message box saying, you can't set this string equal to an empty string. Yep. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.